Hello and welcome. I'm Sin Donuts, and this is a three-part series going over all the firearms available currently in Pavlov Shack VR, which is in development for the Oculus Quest. This is part two of the three-part series. Uh, first part, series one, or video one, we went uh, over the handguns and other items there on that first rack. And part two, we're going to go straight ahead here with these SMGs and the shotguns and also that big bad boy right there, the M249. I think it's the 249. Maybe it's the modernized version of it. But anyway, let's move ahead and get moving. Stop with my jibble jibble. And so let's see here. We'll, we'll go with the SMGs first and then we'll hit the shotguns. So let's grab this guy here. Everyone knows who this is, I hope. This is the P90. Um, it's made in... Heck if I know, I don't know, Sweden or something, or Czech Republic, I don't know. But anyway, P90, um, it has two fire modes. Let me get in the light here. We've got full auto and semi-auto. So you can see that little switch, full auto, semi-auto. We'll go full auto first. Let me step back here a little bit and show you the iron sights in this left eye, because this is where it's recording. So that's what it looks like if you're actually going to use these sights. And which you probably should, unless you put on one of those red dots or uh, hollow sights. All right, so what I'm going to do first with this large magazine is go full auto. I'm going to keep my hands as steady as possible so I can show you the uh, recoil pattern that the game uh, has for this gun. Um, so I'm not going to move my hands, but the gun is going to move. It's going to look like my hands are going up, but trust me, they're staying still. Another thing to keep uh, an eye on, which is really cool, is you know this uh, transparent magazine. It's a lot of fun. They actually animated this in the game. So as these rounds go down, you'll see the spring unravel and this little uh, plunger pusher thingy pushing all the rounds down into the weapon. So pretty neat. And here we go. So, kind of a wacky uh, recoil pattern there. If you're lucky enough to run to somebody who's going to stand there for you and not move, um, you aim at his belly button, and all your rounds are going to hit, and you're going to like you know split his head in two at the end there. So, anyway, that's the recoil pattern. This gun, obviously, at medium uh, ranges, you're going to want to have some trigger discipline and maybe do some burst fire uh, with the full recoil. You're going to be going all over the place and. You know, one or two or three rounds might hit at first, and then it's just going to go blah, 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 all over the place. So let's go over the reload process for this one. There is no magazine release. You have to manually pull this mag out. So you use the trigger on your left hand, and there we go. It's now out. And ooh, almost fell down. Now you grab another mag. Here it is. Uh, this pretty cool see-through mag, right? And you kind of finagle it in there, get in there, and there we go. Now, before you can fire, you got to charge it. This is the charging handle for the P90. And in case you didn't know, you're going to say, where are these, where is the exhaust port for this, uh, where, where, where this spent, spent casings go? They come flying out of the bottom here. So this is an ambidextrous weapon. You can actually use it, uh, you know, both sides if you're a lefty. But um, I'm a righty, so we'll go righty. And now I'm going to do some burst fire at first, and then I'll finish off with some uh, single fire. We'll, we'll change the firing method here. So hold on a second. So there you go. So you short control burst of two or three rounds, and it's it's pretty much laser. You can see, you know, those were two or three rounds the first time when I went full auto, and that same kind of uh, spread there, same kind of pattern is right here. So short control bursts, two or three of those at a target 10, 10 meters down range, and uh, you'll probably land all your shots. So let's switch this to... Single fire mode, and I will aim on this side, and we'll show you what it looks like this way. Okie dokie, all out. And once again, not a bad grouping right there. A very small spread, of course, you know, we're two meters away, so it doesn't count for much, but you can imagine if that was 10 meters down range, the spread wouldn't be much worse than that, maybe a little wider, but you're hitting all your shots, center mass, or even maybe on the head, so... Uh, very accurate weapon. Uh, fun little SMG. I, I, I'd love to look at this thing. I wish I had one in real life, but uh, they're expensive, so that's why I don't have one. Um, but anyway, that's the P90. Let's move on. Actually, I'm going to stop throwing these things. Let me see how many I can line up before they go away. You say, what was that ant for? Don't do that. All right. 
Moving on. The UMP-45. This gun has two firing modes, full auto and single fire. We'll start in full auto. You'll notice Picatinny rails all over the place. Right now in this version, all you can put on here would be a red dot or hollow sight and a forward grip. But maybe later we'll be able to put a laser and a flashlight on there. Who knows? I haven't played the full version on the PC, so if you have, you probably already know what is going on with this thing. I do not. I've only been playing this version on the Quest because the only VR I have is the, is the PSVR, the PlayStation VR, and this now is Oculus Quest I got for Christmas slash birthday this year. So um, let's go forward here and let's clean off our target. That's how you clean it. I wish, I wish you could just like press this button and like clean my target. Clean. It doesn't do that though. So um, we'll go full auto first so I can show you the recoil pattern. Oh, let's, let's show you the sights first too. There we go. There's the iron sights. Apologies for being Mr. Shaky. Full of caffeine. All right. Let's do the recoil pattern first on full auto. So there you go. Not great. Not bad. Probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight rounds or so before it steadied up. Um, you know, if you are aiming down range full auto, which would be kind of silly, but you could probably just bring your hand down for the first few rounds and then it just, it's just going to go left and right as those bullets spray out the, uh, the upward, uh, recoil stops around eight or nine shots. So, uh, that's full auto with this, um, UMP 45, which was a 45 caliber round. Let us do the magazine change. There we go. And boom, press the magazine uh, release again, and it pops that forward. And now we're ready to go. Ready to rock and roll. Uh, let us go to, I'm going to do a few, uh, Three round bursts just to show you how accurate this gun is. So there was two round bursts, not three. That third round popped over here at one time. But uh, you can see one, two, one, two, one, two, just like those two there, one, two, one, two, one, two. So not too bad if you're aiming center mass or upper chest and it's a 10, 10 meter uh, target, you may be hitting one chest and one in the head. So might be uh, you know, a good idea to keep on full auto and just have some discipline with the trigger. Let's go to single fire. All right, I only had a few shots left there. So we'll do one more magazine change here. Uh, one thing also with, with these other guns, uh, unlike the pistols, is when you are ready to, to rack that first round out of the magazine, you can either press the magazine release or you can actually pull a trigger and, and, and flick the charging handle here. So I'll show you, I'll do that this time for you. There we go. And we're ready to rock and roll. And I'm on single fire. Let's just do a few more single fires here to the cabeza. There you go. Pretty accurate weapon, especially from six feet away. But uh, even down range, this, is, this has got some pretty good accuracy. And even though it's a pistol caliber, that 45, uh, you've got 30 rounds of it. And, um, and, uh, a little bit more, you know, accuracy, longer barrel than a pistol. So, uh, and then of course you can put all the attachments on. So you're talking about a, a much more capable firearm, uh, when it comes to close quarters battles. So anyway, there you go. UMP 45. Thank you very much. Ooh, it didn't make the noise this time. All right. Okay. Now this gun, man, I should know what this gun is. I'm sure it's Eastern Bloc. It looks very Russian or Czech Republic. It's got the... AK-47 looking stuff over here and, you know, those similar AK-47 sights up top. Um, I, I want to say this is like the grandson of the PPSH, the Puppet Shaw, whatever it was called back then in World War II. Um, this might be the PP-12 or, I don't know, PP-87. I, I can't remember exactly. I'll figure it out and put it on the screen here. But the really cool thing about this one, it's got a, a high-capacity cylindrical magazine. Not many, I've not seen this very often in any other kind of guns, kind of a wacky thing. Uh, only problem, of course, is that it's like a nine millimeter or similar caliber. So not the heaviest hitting of weapons, but it definitely has a lot of rounds. And I think this one shoots pretty straight. So let's see how this goes. And two fire modes also. I think this is full auto and there's a single fire. So we'll go full auto first. Let me show you those sights. Okie dokie. And typical, uh, AK-47 style sights. I want to do this because I keep twisting my body the wrong way. All right. And let's go with the full auto, see how this uh, recoil pattern looks like. So, as you can see, I was aiming still right down the middle. And you know, after about three or four rounds here, it 
it mostly went left and right. It kind of started drifting right a little more. Maybe that was my fault. I may have drifted right. I don't know. But you can see after a few rounds, it's not going up anymore. So this is probably a pretty capable weapon to go full auto within 5 to 10 meters. Uh, and a lot of your um, shots will be on target. Uh, as usual, short control bursts are going to be more accurate. You'll probably not lose, you know, waste a lot of ammo. Um, but with so much ammo in here, why not go full auto? It sounds like a lot of fun. So let's do the magazine change. This one does not have a magazine release. You have to manually pull this out. There we go. Let's say thank you. Grab another one and you can put this on here or you can do it like I do. Whack. So we're almost good to go. One last thing. We have to manually rack that in there. Uh, charging you know, with the charging handle. And now we're ready to go. Um, I want to do some short control bursts and then I'll do some single fires. So you can see very similar pattern to the first two shots of uh, full auto. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Not a horrible thing. If you're aiming upper uh, center mass and you're more than five, 10 meters away, first shot chest, second shot might be the face. That's going to hurt. So uh, now we'll switch it over to single fire. And let's get through this one. So... Pretty straight overall. I pulled the trigger a bit quick a uh, few times where that second shot uh, hit two or three times. But otherwise, uh, a very, uh, you know, just like this hole on the left side here, that is all single shot. So up to you how you want to shoot this thing. I mean, so many rounds, got full auto, why not? Um, but maybe uh, single fire is a good thing to do. Maybe when a target's more than 10 uh, meters away and you want to conserve ammo. Um, but there you go. The whatever gun this is, PP-12 or something, I don't know. Uh, pretty cool weapon from the Eastern Bloc, from Mother Russia, I think. Maybe maybe from Yugoslavia. Anyway, there we go. Next up. Oh, this is a favorite for everybody in the real world and video games, the MP5. This is the only gun in the game currently, at least in this version of the game, that has three fire modes. We've got, this is full auto, even though it's all smudgy. And probably in German, and then we have single fire, and then we have three round burst. So it is a hold on, let me try to drop this thing and catch it. Whoop. That looks like nine millimeter to me. Um, it might not be, it might be some other caliber that I don't know, but uh, pretty sure it's nine mil and 30 round magazine. And let's, uh, let's do the same old, same old. Uh, we will look down the left eye sights so you can see what the iron sights look like. Uh, not really good in the dark, but there you go in the light. And and this, of course, has the ticketing rail up top, so, you know, red dot sight or auto sight, probably a better option than these horrible sights. And let's uh, let's do the full auto so we can see what this recoil pattern looks like. So that was pretty fast. And what can we count here? One, two, three, four. So four rounds to of upward recoil and then all of a sudden it's just snaking left and right in a real tight group so another good gun for full auto madness especially if your target is close quarters you know within five ten meters uh you're gonna land a lot of rounds even at full auto with this thing as long as you're on target so uh pretty cool let's uh let's do the uh, mag change the, the reload it's the mag release so there we go we are now ready to rock and roll again um I don't need to show three on burst because that's actually a part of this gun. So let's just do three on burst that way instead of me trying to figure it out with the trigger. So there we go. Three round burst. Very similar in pattern to the full auto right there. Just obviously more holes in the paper because that was only three or four rounds. So there's the three on burst. Uh, a nice vertical pattern. So if you were throwing this down range. Hitting that uh, top center mass, you're looking at hitting them in the neck and the head, which uh, should be causing more damage in this game. And for the last bit here, let's go with uh, single fire. And I'll go for some headshots here. All right, so pretty good. A couple stragglers from me having shaky hands. I don't yet have one of those awesome... Uh, rifle vr rifle things that you can buy and connect your oculus controllers to and actually 
put the butt of it into your shoulder so you have some stability. I have just two floating controllers. So like while I'm holding this thing, my hands are like, blah, 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 blah. you know, it's just, it's kind of a mess. So best I can do uh, in the current situation, I'll probably get one of those VR rifle things, even though like the nice ones are over a hundred bucks, but we'll figure it out. So anyway, that's the MP5. Not a, it's a pretty accurate weapon, not too shabby, but it is pretty small caliber. So uh, a lot of fun still though. This is, you know, every movie and every video game for the last like 30 years, right? So there we go. Eh, eh. So the next one we got here is the Mini Uzi. Now, this Mini Uzi, very 1980s. Feel like you're, uh, you know, um, some 80s action movie with this thing. Uh, it's got only one fire mode, and that is full auto. I'm pressing the fire selector now, and nothing's happening, even though that should be it there. Um, but yeah, it's got one mode only, and that is fully auto. Um, the once again, I think it's nine millimeter. And uh, here's another wacky thing about this. Here is a foldable stock, right? So you get that out by two-hand uh, two grip this uh, Uzi. Watch what happens here. Let's see if you catch it. Did you catch that? Yeah, something's wrong here. Let's see if you catch it in slow motion. What? Yeah, this stock should be coming this way. But instead, uh, the animation is the wrong way and the stock goes through the gun. So kind of funky, but maybe something they'll fix. Maybe something they don't really care about. Uh, I guess we'll find out when the full game comes out or when the next update. You know, that's probably small on their list of things to worry about. You know, more worried about crashes and multiplayer latency and you know big issues. Uh, a silly animation is probably way down on their list of things to fix. So here we go. Here's the iron sights. Um, no attachments on this gun. Uh, I don't. You can't put a setup here anyway because. This is the mechanism, so it'd be kind of a messed up way to put a say on here. I wouldn't know how you do it in real life. Um, but let's go full auto since that's the only thing we can do. And here we go. So not too bad as far as vertical recoil, maybe uh, one, two, three, four shots. And then eh, kind of a wide spread there. It looks like it's like one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, you know, back and forth, but not bad. Um, Probably better if you do short control burst, which we'll do next. So let's do the reload. Good to go. Short control bursts. Okay, so I lied. This gun's a mess. Um, rounds all over the place. I was holding that pretty steady. I had my elbows into my ribs and just kind of, kind of all over the place. And I guess, you know, it's a mini Uzi, right? It's not meant to be a long range weapon. This is more of a turn around the corner and go, ah, die, you know? So, uh, it's got the cool eighties factor. Otherwise, you know, I, I would be using any other one of those SMGs. So there we go. Mini Uzi done. So moving on up, let's go to the shotguns here. Come over here. You, this is the pump action Remington something or other 870 or, uh, or fifth there, I don't know, uh, one of those numbers. But yeah, this is the pump action shotgun in the game. Uh, all shotguns right now in this version of the game are only using buckshot. There's no way to choose slugs yet or dragon fire or any kind of ra random round. Uh, they're just these 12 gauge buckshot rounds. And the weird thing about all the shotgun rounds look the same in this game, but I'm pretty sure that depending on which shotgun you pick, uh, these rounds hit at a different damage, and that's just for game balancing, right? Uh, if if all the rounds hit the same, which they should in real life, but if all these rounds hit the same, who's using the pump action? You're going to go with like the full auto or the semi-auto. You're not going to use this thing. It's pain in the rear end, but that's why they give this guy a little more power just because it's a little tougher to use. Uh, and um, and uh, yeah, so we'll, I'll show you how it works. You can just throw it in here. So here are the sights. Who's using the sights on um, Buckshot? I don't know, but just in case you're interested. And uh, let's do some center mass shots. Okay, so that was it. Uh, once you're out of rounds in this gun, uh, the action stops moving. You can't, you can't push this forward. So you kind of know like, what's going on? Oh yeah, that's right, I'm out of rounds. So uh, this is the reload process, obviously. In the middle of a firefight, you're going to want to take some cover because this is what you got to do. Oh, we got enough there. Let's see if that one goes in. Nope. So, rack that one in. We can get one more round in there. Now we're fully loaded. And um, 
I'm going to do my best to shoot this as fast as possible. Pretty much the, the movement is you grip this, and when you fire, it brings it back for you. So all you got to do is pull a trigger, push forward, pull a trigger, push forward, pull a trigger, push forward as fast as you can go. Every once in a while, I get a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, round through it, but um, sometimes I get stuck. So let's see what happens here. All right. I did it uh, pretty smoothly there. A couple random shots, but uh, not a bad little street sweeper here. This is obviously very deadly up close. Uh, once you get five, ten yards, uh, five, ten meters away, this is pretty much worthless because the spread just goes crazy. Um, but if you're running around an office building, like one of the levels here is an office building. If you run around an office building and turn a corner and you see some guys sitting there, you blast them away in a shot or two. So there we go. Pump action. Shotgun. Let's go. Move it on. Here we go. This is the semi-automatic shotgun. I think this is a Benelli. Probably, or maybe it's another type of U.S. shotgun. I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, this is the semi-auto. It does have this uh, foldable stock here, which would be cool if it actually worked for me in real life, but nope. So yeah, I don't know if this has any kind of effect in game. I don't know if it makes the recoil better or if it's just for looks. Um, so not sure, but kind of cool. Just cool factor for now, but it might have some in-game uh, effect. So let's look down the sights here. Oh, I should clean him up. All right. So let's look down the sights here. Oh, wrong eye. There we go. I don't know why you use this if you didn't have a slugger in there, but uh, this also has the uh, buckshot. And I think um, even by looking at the pattern on the paper, if I shoot this, you'll see it either has less pellets or the pellets don't hit as hard or something like that because definitely doesn't make the same kind of holes as that pump shotgun. But here we go. So, as you can see, Still does some damage, but I think there's like two less pellets or they hit less hard or something. So uh, there we go. Let's do the reload. It's very similar. And if I'm going to go slow and you'll see the, it, these shells just kind of get sucked in there. Ready? Gone. Yeah. Now it's magic. Magic shotgun. So this is going to do the same thing. You can get to a point where it's like, oh no, get out of here. And we're going to load one in there. And that way we can fully, fully load this thing. And now I'm going to go a little faster um at the uh, uh head and see how uh this works so a little bit of recoil there i kind of double tap that trigger right there you see that higher shot but overall not too bad but i was like maybe what two three feet further away and look how bad that spread is so really like if you're any further than this, just pellets are going to be going all over the place. You're not going to land a lot of pellets. So this is really a very close... All the shotguns are a very, very close weapon. So, um, But in this game, there are a lot of times where you turn a corner and you bump into a guy. So I'd rather have this than one of those little SMGs or something if I bump into a guy. Stick this right in his head and kapow! I think I just stepped on my dog. You guys all right? My bad. All right, so... Moving on. Here we go. Whoa, I just stepped on something. Uh... Saga 12. This is a fully auto plus semi-auto Russian shotgun that has the drum mag. Uh, crazy gun. This is crazy. Um, I use this a lot in the bot matches because it just blows them away and I can I have time to do reloads because the reloads are so much faster with a drum. You wouldn't think so in real life because like how many drums can you carry on yourself? But in this game you can carry like infinite drums. Like there's one and wait, there's another one and there's another one, and there's another one. There's drums for everybody. Drums, everybody, drums here. Oh, nope, wait, wait. Starting to run out. No, you, you don't run out. It's just drums forever. So just got to make sure you, you pick it up in the right spot. No, there's not a lot of physics in this game, really. So, um, But anyway, Christmas time, if you have uh, a Saga 12. So let's move on. This is probably going to crash the game, too. I probably like overdid it with the drums here. So hopefully it'll go away before this game crashes. This, uh, this development build. All right, so we will do the, uh, show the sights here first. Very, very simple sights, which you probably won't ever use. And um, we're going to go with the full auto. I'll go right here. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, so, yeah, it never stops going up. It just keeps going up and up and up and up, up as, as, you know, until you run out of uh, rounds in this magazine here. Oh, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, short control burst, you know, two or three shots and then reload or, you know, let go of the trigger and, and, and pull it again. But, uh, 
Here we do with the reload process. Ready to go. I will do some short control bursts here. A little better, right? Stayed center mass. Uh, didn't uh, waste half the rounds up in the ceiling. So I, I wonder if this has the magazine release. It does. Cool. So you can you can mag release this. I thought it would be a, a squeeze because it has this little flap here. It's a little trigger thingy. But uh, no, you can mag release it. So anyway, there we go. And then just single fire mode. So a bit more accurate when you're pulling, you know, you're firing one round per trigger pull. So there we go, shot of 12. Meh, meh. All right, last shotgun on the list. Let's see if I can grab this without like touching anything else. Yeah, I got it. All right, the sawed off 12 gauge double barrel shotgun. Uh, let's clean this up. The spread on this is pretty bad and uh, I, maybe the pellets hit harder. Uh, it's only got two shots and you got to reload, but the reload process sure is a lot of fun. So here we go. Uh, there are no sights to look down. It's a 12 gauge sawed off. Well, you're, you're shooting from here. You're shooting from the hip. Uh, you cannot two hand grip this though. So, and the other bad thing about this is it's, uh, you know, it's, it's one round per trigger pull. You can't set it. So it shoots both off at the same time, which would be awesome. So it's two shots and we have to reload. So there we go. Reload process is a lot of fun. Watch this. Ah, that's so satisfying. Pretty cool in the gun range. I don't know how much fun it would be in, uh, in a multiplayer match, but uh, definitely a lot of fun here in the range. I'll num num num. Ah, come on, get in. Ah, uh, no. Uh, no, it won't work. You have to manually put these in. So, one little side note about this guy. I'll do this as quick as possible here. Let me fill this up. This can be holstered as a pistol. There's one. Let me try to grab this one without grabbing anything else. Come here, you. All right. There we go. So let's just pretend, you know, you're going shotgun crazy. Boom, 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 boom. You run out of shells. Some dude turns the corner. Oh, crap. Please don't kill me. How cool is that? Surprise, surprise. And then a nutritional treat. Oh, nom, nom. So, yeah, neat stuff, these guns. All right, final gun on this rack in the center rack here for our, our video number two in this three part series the M249 belt fed main uh, machine, heavy machine gun here. Now, this might be an M270 or whatever the new model version is, but you know, the original I think was called M249. Uh, that's what I know it as when I've seen this gun in real life while I was in the military and also uh, in all the video games I've played. So we'll show you the, what's up with this bad boy here. Let me reset this. Um, there are no fire modes or fire selector. It is just full auto all the time. I'm pretty sure you can put the red dot or the hollow sight on here. Uh, no other attachments, I think. Although maybe they let you put a silencer, but I doubt it. Um, and we're, this bipod is worthless. Looks like it should work. It'd be cool if I could like, put this on here and it'd be really steady, but no, it just goes through. So don't know if that's going to be a part of the game later. If they're not going to do that, then I, I wish they would just like fold this or get this off the gun. If I can't use a bipod, like why even show that? So uh, hopefully they fix that. All right. So what we'll do here is we're looking at the sights. There are the sights for the left eye. And what I'm going to do here is show you the recoil pattern. And this gun will shoot so much that the barrel gets red hot and the gun will jam. It'll stop. So uh, we'll let that happen right now. Barrel's red hot. My hand stayed here the whole time. That's how crazy this recoil is. If you go full auto forever, um, still have rounds left, rounds left in this, uh, this box here, but the barrel turned red hot. It stopped firing. So let's go with the rest. I'm just going to do some, uh, burst control right here. And we're out. So there we go. Obviously burst fire, way better option with this gun. Although up, up close, I'm sure you could, you know, spray and pray. And as the gun's going up, you can start pulling your hand down to fight the recoil. Um, but uh, the really cool thing about this gun, at least in the gun range, maybe not so much in a multiplayer match, is the reload process. So 
Let's take this uh, spent box off. Hey, that's weird. Usually, I thought that... Eh, eh. Well, let's see what happens here. Okay, so we got to put this up. Oh, cool. I, can, I was able to grab it. And pop that in. This goes down. And ready to go. So... You want to see what happens when you fire this thing one-handed? It's hilarious. <laughs> Woo! Uh, yeah. So firing this one-handed, I think you'd literally have to like point it to the floor by the time it got up to the normal recoil uh, level. So uh, one more time with this fun. <laughs> That's about as fast as I could do it. That's That was like almost no mistakes at all. Uh, in the meantime, you're like dodging bullets. Like, don't shoot me. But uh, fun gun. If you have someone backing you up, definitely a fun way to lay down some fire and keep people, uh, uh, you know, keep an entire hallway uh, pinned down. So there you go, M249. So that's it for video two of this three-part series of all of the wonderful firearms here in Pavlov Shack VR, currently in development for the Oculus Quest. Uh, hope you had a good time watching this video. Stay tuned for part three. And thanks for watching. Catch you in a bit.